conditions other than cancer and palliative care. The roots of the modern hospice and palliative care movement developed in response to the needs of people with cancer. However, palliative care can benefit people with many different illnesses, including dementia, motor neuron disease, multiple sclerosis, or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, lung disease. It can also be used at different stages of those illnesses. Research has highlighted inequity in accessing palliative care if you have a terminal condition that isn't cancer. 88% of people in England and Wales using palliative care in patient services and around 75% of new referrals to both hospital support and day services have cancer. However, cancer currently only accounts for around 29% of deaths. Two-thirds of people with cancer who died were on the palliative care register, compared with 20% of people with non-malignant conditions. Looking at heart failure, the National Council for Palliative Care said in 2005, Patients dying of advanced heart failure remain disadvantaged compared to peers with cancer in terms of symptom control, management, communication and access to palliative care support networks. Heart failure is a common, progressive and distressing condition that can be disabling and life-limiting. However, the natural history of heart failure is unpredictable and there is no moment in the trajectory of the condition when the priority of care shifts from curative to palliative care. To address such disadvantages and challenges, key points for change are recommended. Mutual training and education is integral. Heart failure, care of older people and primary care teams should be able to provide generalist palliative care assessments and management, together with specialist palliative care staff being competent in basic cardiac care supported by their cardiac teams. Palliative care should be problem-based, not prognosis-based, with specialities working collaboratively to form an extended team, not either or. All agencies, therefore, work to improve the way we care for people who live with and die from conditions other than cancer.